Good morning, children. I hope you all are fine. Now I'm going to start with the first chapter. All right, I don't know what's the first chapter. So before I start with that chapter, I want to show you something. Some pictures are here. Can you see? Can you see these pictures? <coughs> there are different animals here. There are things here. There's a person here. All right, the nouns. You know, nouns. Have you done nouns in uh, English language? So all kinds of nouns are here. <coughs> what is a noun? Noun is the name of a person, place, animal, and things, isn't it? So all the nouns are here. So I'm going to read what is written here. All right, this is not English. It's mathematics, but I was just telling you it's a noun. Now noun meaning uh, place, person, animal. Everything is here. All right. So Ram saw one tree in the park. So Ram is a boy. He went to a park and he saw one tree. Can you see this tree? So he saw one tree. He saw one tree. Okay. <clears throat> there were two crows sitting on the tree. So two crows, the two birds here sitting on the tree. Can you see this? Can you see these two birds? So two birds were sitting on the tree. All right. And three ducks were swimming in the pool. So there's a pond here, small pond here. Can you see the small pond here? So the, we went around the garden, okay, to see what is all around in the garden. And there in the pond, nice blue pond, there were three ducks. Can you see here? One, two, and three ducks. Okay. Are you understanding? <coughs> Then, after that, as he went near the pond, the boy came near the pond and he saw four swings. You, you know swing? Ping. You know in Nepali we call it ping. You have swings in your swing in your school also, you know, the nursery children they have. So one, two, three and four. Four swings were there. Four swings were there in the garden. Alright, then again he went around the garden. So, he ran and tripped over five stones. He went, he wanted to run, he saw the swing, you know the swing, the ping. He ran, he wanted to sit on the swing and he wanted to play. When he was running to the swing, he tripped, means he fell down over the stones. There were some stones here, big, big stones. Can you see? One two, three, four, five stones were there. So he tripped on that and he fell down. So there were five stones and he fell down. He got up quickly and saw six frogs. He got hurt, he got up quickly and when he looked up, he saw six frogs. Frogs were there. Look here, six frogs. One, two, three, four, five and six frogs were there. Okay, <clears throat> now see there are so many things in the garden. And seven ants moving in a line. So ants, you know ants, Kamila. In Nepali we call it Kamila. So seven ants were there, they were all moving in a line. The ants usually they move in a straight line, isn't it? So there were seven ants there. And suddenly Ram saw eight beautiful butterflies and nine flowers. And suddenly he looked up and he saw eight little butterflies. Look here. Colorful butterflies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight butterflies were there who were flying around nine flowers. Nine flowers were there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine flowers were there and Eight butterflies were there on top of nine. Eight butterflies were there on top of nine flowers. All right. Sucking the nectar. He ran to catch a butterfly. He ran to catch one butterfly because they were very beautiful. And reached the tree. And again he ran to catch the butterfly. Again he came back to the same tree. The first tree where he saw that, uh, saw the two birds there. He came to the same tree and again he looked at the tree nicely. And what did he see on the tree? Ten lovely apples. Ten lovely apples. Nice juicy red apples. See here? One, two, 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 great red juicy apples he saw. And he must have wanted to eat those apples, isn't it? He started climbing the tree to pluck the apples. So that's the end of the story. So he saw the apples and finally he was so tired going around and round the garden. All right. Seeing all these things. He saw butterflies there. He saw flowers there. He saw birds. He saw frogs. So many things he saw in the uh, uh, sorry, in the garden, all right? And finally, he saw 10 red apples where he plucked the apples and he sat under the tree, rested, all right? So, the exact story what I'm going to tell you is, the, what I'm telling you, the, why am I showing the, why did I show you this picture? I told you this tall, short story about this picture is, what are these? I counted all the things. I counted the swing. I counted the ducks, I counted the apples, I counted the butterflies, I counted the frogs. And what did I write here? I wrote 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. What are they called? They are called numbers. All these are called numbers. All right. So today's topic will be on numbers. Right? So these are numbers. Last year in UKJ, you must have learned numbers, right? And all these numbers, they have a name. All right? So today I'm going from class one, we're going to learn the different names for different numbers. All right? Each number, they have a name. You all have a name, no? You have a name? What's the name? Yes? Trisha. Trisha. Your name is Trisha. And what's the name? Survey. So you have different names, no? Just like that, just as you have different names, these numbers also, they have different names. All right? So these numbers from 1 to 9. From 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, they are called, they are all single digit number. Single they are all single digit numbers, all right, which you already learned till 9. 0 to, 0 to, oh, so 0, 0 means nothing. 0 means no number, nothing, all right. So from 0 to 9, you learned till UKG. So in class 1, you are going to learn now two digit numbers. As I wrote just now, I wrote how many apples were there in, at the end of the story? 10 apples. They were 10 apples. 10 means one digit and two digits. These numbers are all called digits. What are they called? The numbers like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. What are they all called? They are called digits. They are called numbers or they are also called They are called numbers or they are also called digits. So sometimes I might say digit. So don't get confused, all right? So digit or numbers, both they mean the same. All right, children? Now we move on to the two digit numbers. Now, as you know, the single digit number, like nine, it's a single digit number, right? Just as you said, you have your name is Trisha, her name is Suravi. All right? These numbers, they also have a name. The first digit, when you have one single digit, these are single digit numbers, no? So when you have one digit, this is called ones. What is the first single digit called? Ones. And instead of writing O and E S every time, what do we use? We use, we use the first letter, O. So O, capital O stands for ones. Alright? So the first number stands for ones. Now, if you have two numbers, like this boy, he saw 10 apples there. Yes. So, the first digit and the second digit. First number and second number. And what is the first number called? Just now I told you, what is the first number called? Trisha? What is the first number called? I just now told you, no? Zero. Zero stands for? One. 
Once, very good. Once, we write once like this. O. O means once. Okay, but we will not write the full spelling. We'll write only O. Right? Now, when you move on to the next digit, first number is once. The second digit is called T, tens. T stands for tens. Alright? So, when you have one digit only, one from zero to nine, you have one digit that is called ones. When you have two digits from one, zero, ten, you start two digit numbers. Okay? Then what comes after one, zero, ten? Trisha? Hey, what comes after one, zero, ten? What is the next number after one, zero, ten? Hmm? Suravi, what is the next number after one, zero, ten? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, se six seven, eight, nine, one, zero, ten. And after ten, what comes? Eleven. Yes, what comes after one, zero, ten? Eleven. Yes, one, one, eleven. Then what comes after eleven? One, two, twelve. After one to twelve, what comes? One, three, thirteen. Then one, four, fourteen. One, five, fifteen. And it carries on. Isn't it? Then one, six, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. So it carries on. All the two-digit numbers, it carries on. Alright? So the first digit, what is it called? Ones. Okay, Trisha? The first digit is called ones. And the second digit or the second number is called tens. Okay. Numbers, they are also called digits. Numbers are also called digits. Digits or numbers. Okay. And this one, ones. Suravi, are you looking? Ones, tens. What are they called? They are called units. What are they called? Units or they are also called place value. What are they called? Place, place values or units. So sometimes I can use units or sometimes I can also say place values. Alright? For ones and tens. For ones and tens, I can say units. Ones and tens, what are they called? Units. Or ones and tens are also called place values. Okay, Trisha, very good. So, today we are going to start with numbers with two digits. Numbers with two. Numbers with two digits. Okay, so two digits starts from 1, 0, 10. And it carries on, 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 on. It carries on. Then till 9, 9, 99. Two digits, they start from 1, 0, 10. And it ends at 9, 9, 99. Alright. So after 99, we don't have two digits. We'll have three digits again. That you learn slowly. Alright? When you come to the end of the session, we'll learn three-digit numbers. Okay, Trisha? So, today's topic is on... I'm going to repeat again. Today's topic is on numbers. What are numbers? Numbers are also called digits. Numbers are also called digits, right? And we're going to start with two-digit numbers. Two-digit means you have two numbers here. Okay, the first digit is called ones, and the second digit is called tens. Oh, yes, very good, Trisha. And what are these ones and tens called, Trisha? They are called units, or they are also called place values. Yes. Sometimes if I say units, don't get confused. Okay, place values also means unit. Unit also means place values. Just as numbers are also called digits, digits are also called numbers. They mean the same. They mean the same. Unit and place value, they mean the same. Alright? So, today's topic was on 
two digit units numbers with two digits ones and tens all right so we'll be doing some work we'll be doing some work today i'll be posting some work for you all right so this is it i'm miss uma if you know me or not i'll be teaching you maths in class one okay i hope we'll are going to have a nice session this year and we're going to learn maths with fun all right if you have any queries you can post in my number all right children so bye bye have a nice day